Hello, best friend, and oh, welcome. Girl, what is that? What was that? Welcome, bitch. I was like Ursula. Poor, unfortunate souls. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Sebastian. I spill pop culture tea every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend and you have found me, grab a snack, grab a drink, hit that subscribe button, girl. I would be very grateful. And we have to talk about Miss Taylor Swift, Gigi Hadid, and what is going on, okay? So listen, I don't know if some people are just like on, uh, are just on another level of immaturity or what the fuck the case is, but Taylor Swift is taking a little break from her era stadium tour, which girl, I mean, honestly, finally, I feel like Taylor Swift, I know she just like kind of started her tour, but girl, I just feel like she's already been on tour for so long. And Harry Styles, that's not even to Harry Styles, he's been on tour since 2021, bitch. They need to rest, okay? They need to they need to rest. So anyway, she was taking some time off from uh, the Eras tour, and she was seen in New York City with Gigi Hadid, and they were having a little girls' night. They went to Nobu. They were, you know, they were they were, you know, having just like a little fun girls' night. Um, she, it says here that she wrapped up her Pittsburgh shows over the weekend and doesn't take the stage again until June twenty third in Minneapolis. Um, which honestly, thank God, because girl, I. I, sometimes I look at these people's shows and I'm like, girl, Taylor Swift's show lasts for like four hours or something. Like, damn. Um, anyways, so of course, that's causing a little bit of a stir because people are like, oh my God, like, what does this mean about Selena? Like, how come Taylor's not going out with Selena? And <clears throat> if Selena's going out with Zayn, what does this mean? And Gigi Hadid is still friends with Hailey. And of course, all that drama is going on. Like, what does this mean? What does that mean? Oh. Listen, listen, okay? First of all, Taylor Swift and Selena Gomez have been friends for many years. And guess what, bitch? So has Taylor Swift and Gigi Hadid, okay? Gigi Hadid has been friends with the Jenner girls and with Hailey Bieber also for many years. Like, they, they known each other for many, many years, right? And I think that what happens here is that when, when people look at celebrities, it's sort of like they give them different rules for some reason. And they, you know, what I've noticed living in Los Angeles, I have seen, you know, some celebrities out and about, and it really is not as glitzy glamour as you really might think. They're really, I mean, some of course are on another level, but but some that you might think that are just like this, you know, it's all like picture perfect. They don't have problems. Like everyone has the same problems as us. They just have, they're just in another tax bracket. You know what I mean? And And of course their problems might, might not seem so big to us like you know our problems you know like if it, you know we miss a day of work we're, we're scared about you know making rent you know what i mean but their problems are like you know others but when it comes to relationships and stuff you know it's kind of i mean it's kind of the same people people react to things you know if your friend betrays you you have kind of the same feelings you know what i mean that's where i'm getting at but um I don't think it has anything to do with Selena Gomez. I really don't. I, I, I feel like even if Selena was dating Zayn and Zayn is Gigi Hadid's, you know, baby daddy, um, I think that everyone in the group is mature enough and especially Taylor because she's the one who has to be, you know, the the mature one. And when she's with Gigi, not talk about Selena. When she's with Selena, not talk about Gigi in, in case Gigi and Selena are not friends. Now, I just need to go on Instagram real quick because I'm curious to see if Gigi follows Selena. Because I heard there was a little, a little ruffle there. So Gigi Hadid. Let me see if she's following Selena. Let's see. Selena. She is following Selena. Now let me see if Selena's following Gigi. She is following Gigi. So you know what? If Selena's and, and they're following each other, girl, I don't think there's any issues. Oh, let me see something. I want to see if Gigi is following Zayn. Girl, me, I'm I'm entering my messy era. She is. Oh my God, Gigi's such a uh, uh, a mature person. By the way, speaking about Gigi Hadid, if you guys have not seen the show Never Have I Ever on Netflix, please watch it. It they just finished uh, their last season. I think it's like five seasons. Such a good show. Please go watch it. Anyways. 
Um, I, I think that this has literally nothing to do with Selena. I literally just think this has to do with Gigi and Taylor catching up. Gigi has been to like 50 shows of the Eras tour. She's such a supportive friend to Taylor. And even if, like I said, something was going on with Zayn, which I don't think anything is going on. I think that, again, everyone is mature enough to be friends. Now, Gigi being friends with Haley and the Jenner girls, that's enough. Oh, girl, let me see if they follow her. If she follows them. Girl, we're doing some, this is, you know what this is called, bitch? Investigation. So this is Gigi. So we're looking for Haley. We're looking for Haley. Okay, she follows Haley. Kendall. She follows, of course, Kendall. And of course, Kylie. She obviously follows Kylie. I believe she's more friends with, with the Jenner girls than with Haley. Okay. And, oh, girl, let me see. Is Selena Gomez following Kendall Jenner? I, that is something I'm very curious about. No, she's not following Kendall. Is she following Kylie? No, she's not following Kylie. Is she following Kim? No, she's not following Kim. Who else is that? Courtney? Nope. And last one, Chloe. She's not following any of the Kardashian girls. So, well, is Kendall following them? Girl, I'm going down a rabbit hole, bitch. Okay, let me see if Kendall follows Selena Gomez. No, she's not following Selena Gomez. No, no, they, no, I, I think they hate each other. Um, and then Taylor Swift, I don't think Taylor follows anybody. Yeah, she's one of those that follows zero people. Girl, she, I can't. Anyways, listen, if, if Gigi's still, of course, friends with those girls, right? You have to understand that I think Gigi and Taylor's relationship is different than Gigi and the other girl's relationship. I do think that, of course, Taylor should be careful what information she lets out because if the other girls and Selena really do not like each other, then I think that people's privacy definitely should be protected. Now, I can only, I can only put myself in a position where one of my friends used to be really good friends with another friend of mine. Now, they had a falling out and they do no longer talk to, to each other, but I still talk to both, right? And when I'm with one and I'm with the other one, we don't talk about the other one, right? We, you know, we respect that. In the beginning though, you know, they would quietly ask me like, is she, you know, is he saying anything for me? Is she saying anything about me? You know, this and that. But I, you know, of course, being in the middle, I was just like, girl, no, you know, I'm not gonna be messy. So I think it's, you know, I think it, even if you're rich and you're famous, I think it's the same thing. I think Gigi probably has figured a way to say, look, Taylor's my longtime best friend. We are, our topics that we don't talk about are the Kardashian Jenners, Hailey Bieber or Selena Gomez. You know what I mean? I think it goes both ways. I think when Taylor's with Selena, I don't think she mentions them. So I just, I think it's just unnecessary uh, drama. And I think again, like I said in the beginning, People put them in such a high pedestal that they forget that they're normal people. Like, I mean, they're not normal people like us, but you know, I think in relationships and, and situations and drama, I think it's the same, don't you? Mm. Look how cute. It is so cute. I named her Betty. Mm. Anyways, I'm glad we got um, the little, I, I, we went on an in investigation spree. Uh, I think it's so cool that Taylor Swift doesn't follow anyone, but at the same time, it's like, girl, she doesn't leave anything open for tea, honey. Anyways, um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Again, I just think it's like people really want to pit people against each other, especially women. I see this all the time. And you know what? I just feel like people have to be mature enough to like, you know, kind of, separate things you know that's just sort of what i think but anyways what do you guys think let me know in the comments i love you all so much i'm so grateful for you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video Mwah.